Hey there and welcome back to Brownie's Garage. Today we're working on my BAXR6 Falcon trying to fix up this wrinkled shifter surround. Should just be four bolts there around the outside to take off. Oh, hang on, but that shifter is actually underneath this center console. So to get that we need to remove the center console. And to do that we need to remove the handbrake and to get to that this driver's seat needs to come out as well just to fix that wrinkled plastic really Ford what the don't you hate it when your car gets so old it starts to develop wrinkles or as my girlfriend tells me I'm meant to call them smile lines in this video, we'll show you a few options for making that look a bit better, but I'm pretty sure this will almost exclusively be watched by BA and BF Falcon owners, so that's what we'll be focusing on. Now, as much as I enjoy moving the bubbles around in that as some sort of stress relief in traffic, similar to popping bubble wrap, it looks horrible. I'll be sure to give a summary of the options and their costs at the end of the video. I'm sure there'll be other options that we haven't considered, but these are the ones that are generally most common that we'll use today. Let's jump into the car. We'll start with the options where you wanna remove as little of the interior as possible. Now, even with the, I don't wanna remove the center console options, you do have to still remove some trim pieces. So you'll have to remove your cup holder, which I've already done, all you need to do is lift the center console lid and then you can pull this cup holder out which will be broken no doubt like they all are but that just pulls out it takes a little bit of force but it comes out then we've got this trim surround that again easy enough it just lifts out it's just got four clips in each corner just try and get close to each corner to pull them out if it's being a bit stubborn there you can see four clips in each corner nice and easy we then have access to the full surround now with all of these options you will want to ideally try and get rid of as much of this or all of this old bubbling sticker as you can to give you the best results i'll show some options later in the video for how to do this when i've actually got it out the car and it's a bit easier but it can be done in in here it has been done uh, as you'll see recently on Facebook, it has been done. I'll put up a picture now. So you can, in fact, strip off all this old plastic, mask it up, and then very carefully spray it in the car. Now, plastic drop sheets would be ideal for helping with this as well, with your masking. I don't like that option because I don't trust my masking that much, and I think for the effort, we'll get a much better result with it out of the car. There is also another quick option for doing it in the car without the console out. This is where the bling comes in. You can't see that well, but that's actually a chrome plate that you can get off eBay, and I'll put a link in the description. Now, they do only come in chrome, but I imagine that with this being out the car, you can probably refinish that to whatever color you like if you're keen enough or, or you really don't like the chrome. And this is just a stick on plate. It's got double-sided tape there. Once you remove it from its little plastic bag and pull all of that off, it does just stick down. Again, ideally you wanna get rid of all of that bubbling first so that this will stick properly, sit flush, and last as long as it possibly can. Okay, that's it for the options I'm going to consider with the console still in, I'll move back to starting to work on getting this console out. Um, for now, we'll remove these two side trims here. There's just two little screws in the corner here, small Phillips heads to get that off. And I'll also start on working on getting this driver's seat out. So there's just the trims covering the heads of those bolts. Uh, I believe they're Torx T50 bit bolts. So Remove the trims covering that. Remove the four Torx trim bits at each corner, or one at each corner, four in total. And then unplug any wiring depending on uh, what trim level you have. They all have 
some wiring, so just disconnect that before you pull the seat out and pull it out. I'll get to work on that now. So there you can see we've got the seat out, it's all gone pretty well. I popped that headrest off to give us a little bit more room taking the seat out and tilted it forward, that seemed to work quite well. The four seat base bolts come out nice and easy, they were T50 Torx bits. Do those first, then lean it back a touch and it'll make it much easier to get these wiring connectors out. Yellow and the white one have the little clips at the front, they're quite easy to get to. That grey one has the clip at the back that you need to push on so tilt it back it'll make your life a lot easier not too bad under there tidier than i thought it would be and we've made a nice little score here 15 cents a half chewed mentos i think it is that i can finish and some weird bendy ring thing that i immediately regret putting on my finger um moving on that handbrake you can get that cover off but this one's been quite stubborn. All you need is those three bolts under there. Now, I believe there is some adjustment in actually this area here. So you can see they're slotted where those bolts go. I'm gonna get a texter, mark around the head or the washer of those, and then we'll know where they go back to. So your handbrake is adjusted how it was. Now a little bolt here and they'll be the same on the other side and then i think we need to start working up here again i'll jump on the other side so we've got a better view now i'll start working on unbolting anything else that needs to come off this center console so working from the front forward there's a screw either side at the top here that should take out this tissue holder and cigarette lighter uh, or 12 volt accessory there just unplug that at the back when you're pulling it out next phillips head here and here I imagine it's the same on the other side. Phillips head here and same again on the other side. The four bolts, one in each corner for the shifter. We've already undone these, so that's fine. Just keep working your way back on anything you see that might need to be taken off. I believe these gold ones can stay. Maybe that one has to come out now. Uh, this shifter handle will have to come out. Might as well do it now. There's one little Phillips head in the front here. You can't see it, but it's easy enough to feel. Just get a stubby head screwdriver in there and you'll be able to get that out. Uh, there are some clips in this center console. Oops. Uh, just remove the carpet. They're really hard to see, but there are clips. You can sort of see it there down in that hole. There's clips, I believe, only in the front ones that you have to push out, and then you should be able to lift it. I'll have a better look at those once I've got it out. So we'll do that. Bang. And just at the back as well, your vents for your back passenger area will need to come out. They just pop out like that. Okay, we'll get to unbolting that again and see if we can get this out. The center console should just lift out once we've got all of those done. Let's get to it. Okay, it's all out. I've scored another 10 cents. And before we go over anything that I've taken out, one quick point. Here's a scenario. Imagine you go in for a roadworthy, you've bought a nice BA or BF Falcon, go in for a roadworthy, and they find that your shifter selector light, this little light here, is blown. That's a roadworthy fail. You then need to take all of this stuff out that we've just done to change this little globe to pass your roadworthy. Make sure you change this globe while you're in here. Let's have a look at what we've taken out and go over a few things. There we go, we've got the whole unit there. As you can see, it's out. Uh, the only trick I did miss, I think, is it's got these mounting parts here. 
that you'll have to squeeze together on each side to pop out of the housing in the car. Otherwise, you can then see two little tabs on the left and on the right. I've probably done those back to front, but still shows what we need to. Pop those out and this back part will pop out with your selector position, all of this. You'll just be left with what we need to work on. So, getting this stuff off. I'm hoping to use a combination of a heat gun or an old hair dryer and a razor being careful not to gouge it. Hopefully I can scrape as much of that off as I can and then any remaining I'll try using some sandpaper. I think this is 1500 grit, might be a bit light, 1200. Um, I've done a test spray. Um, if you are painting this, I've done a test spray with 800 grit rubbing uh, a similar plastic back and you could still see light scratches so finer grit stuff if you're using some sandpaper on it. In saying that, let's go to our options on replacing this or recovering this. First of all, you can get replacement ones of these. You can get them brand new from Ford or second hand. I haven't gone with that option because I'm concerned that we'll just end up in the same place with this bubbling again. So I've completely skipped over that. I haven't got one of those here, but they are available. Next, paint. As we mentioned earlier, this is the paint we'll be using. It's a VHT vinyl dye. The color is silver satin. I've tried a few different colored paints. You can get paint matched paint, so it's perfect, but I wanted something off the shelf. This is pretty close. I've done a few test sprays and I'm happy. This doesn't butt up against anything else that is the same color. So it doesn't need to be exact. I'm happy that that will be good enough. Uh, as I said, remove all of this. I'll give it a scuff up with this 1500. The paint recommends red scotch bright pads or similar. So hopefully that 1500 would be okay. Go over it really well with wax and grease remover and then we'll spray it. Remember to do a couple of really light coats on my test spray. This does spray very, very runny. So you'll get runs pretty easy. Make sure you do your light coats first so it has something to adhere to. Then go a bit heavier to get that look you want. And then of course, our final option, the bling option again. So this plate, once we've got all of the old stuff off, if you like, you could stick that straight on there and that would be a pretty good option. There are also these that go on your shifter handle that you can get if you wanna go full bling. I'm not entirely sure which option I'm gonna settle on, but I'm gonna paint this and hopefully that'll get rid of the bubbling forever. It won't come back. And I can then decide whether I wanna stick these on later or go with the silver satin. I think that's covered it all. I'm gonna to get to work on this, paint it, and probably go straight back to installing it in the car. There we have it, it's all back in and it's gone pretty well, looking nice and new at the moment. One little thing to mention, uh, everything is a simple reversal with the exception perhaps of these clips inside the actual compartment here in the center console. So you won't be able to see them at the moment. Two clips, uh, as I mentioned, they're pretty simple clips. You slide them over to the, in this for me, slide them over to the passenger side with a flathead and you could lift this console out. When you're putting it back in, you wanna actually remove those clips from the body of the car. They'll still be there and put them into the center console. You'll then sit the center console down and those will clip back into the body. If you try and sit the center console onto those clips, unless you're really lucky, you're gonna end up sitting it where it shouldn't be and pushing those clips into the body of the car. Ask me how I know, I'm down one clip now. I've still got one in there, so that's not too bad. We managed to save one. One is forever lost in the abyss of this car now, but you win some, you lose some, hey? So 
here is the final result. That paint has come up great. I really like it. It isn't perfect though. There are some little imperfections in that paint. You might not be able to pick them up on this, but there are. As well as uh, that plastic actually has some imperfections in it as well. Now, the previous coating on it was probably concealing a little bit of that. It was quite um, thick. It almost comes off like foil. Uh, this makes it a prime candidate for a vinyl wrap or a vinyl coating. I actually didn't consider that option until I was doing it. So that might be another one you can consider when doing this job. Some sort of vinyl wrap would work pretty well on this if you're handy with it. But as I said, I'm happy with how that's come up. That looks really great. I may, however, rock the bling option for a while. This car does have chrome door handles and the rest of it's all pretty plain. So that chrome might actually work well. I'm normally not huge on chrome, but I'm gonna give it a go on this car for a while anyway. Now, as I mentioned, let's go over the options that we've listed and give some details on the prices that you can sort of expect on those. So here we go. The quickest of the options will be the chrome stick on plate. These sell for around $33 on eBay and the matching part for your shifter handle also goes on eBay for around $26. On top of this, if you do remove the console for any of these options, you should ideally replace that gear position panel light as well that we mentioned. It's a T5 LED wedge globe that we got from JCAR for $1.95. I've gone with blue to better match the gauge lighting in the car. Next is the cheapest option being the paint. We've used vinyl dye that's also suitable for plastics and requires no primer, so that only set us back $15.99. You'll also have other disposables like wax and grease remover, but I haven't included those as I already had them, and we've only used really small amounts on this. The last option we considered is the factory replacement option. The panel can be purchased new from Ford or second hand and will range anywhere from $40 up to just over $100 I believe for brand new. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please consider subscribing, we really appreciate it. Give us a like and share it with a mate. We've got plenty more coming up on this BA. Hope you enjoy and thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Ooh, shiny. Don't touch.